Hello. Don't I look lovely? My hair is like... Ugh. Anyway, so yesterday wasn't like the best day for me, but I survived most of the day. <laughs> um, I got out of the house. I did what I was supposed to do, what I had to do. And um, I was tired, but hey, I did it. So last night, um, my mom, she noticed, I didn't really, the only thing I felt funny about myself, other than being really tired and like a grain of sand dizzy, was like my ears felt like they were red or hot. I don't know if anybody else has ever had that like sensation before. It's kind of hard to explain other than like your ears to like feel hot and they probably would look red if you looked at them. So, um, uh, I was helping my mom with stuff on the computer and just kind of farting around sitting near the computer and then the phone rang so she had to take a muffin order and then someone else called about a potential like um, business opportunity, so I figured she was standing for a while, let her have the chair. So I then sat on the floor next to the freezer and I was playing on my phone, doing some like bitch strips and stuff like that. And then I'm like, I'm tired, I don't want to sit on the floor. So I went in the other room um, and sat on a chair. And so then my mom, so I'm still, you know, now I'm sitting in a chair playing on my phone. So my mom comes in to shrink wrap a gift basket and looks at me and says, like, why is your chest, neck, and face, like, turning red? Like, your chest is all red, your neck's red, and your face is turning red. Like, what's with that? And at first when she said, why are you red, I thought she was referring to my back. Because I was itchy, my back was itchy, and I was, like, scratching it, so maybe that's why. But then when she said it was, like, my frontal region, I was like, what? So she's like, go look at yourself. So I turn my cell phone, like I'm going to take a picture of myself just to kind of use as a mirror. And I'm like, I look at myself. And I always said, that's not right. So my mom's like, make sure your legs or anywhere else isn't turning red. So I went into the bathroom and I'm like checking everything. And I was basically, it was only just like my chest, neck and face and my ears, like they were red. So, obviously, um, uh, I started freaking out. My mom's like, don't freak out about it. She's like, I'd be more concerned if your face was, like, really swollen or your lips were swollen or something, but you're just red, and she's telling me, like, relax, and I'm trying not to freak out, and then she's like, well, does it itch? And I'm, like, thinking... First, I didn't even know I was red until you said I was red. And I didn't feel anything until now you say, does it itch? Now I'm feeling hot and a little itchy. So, of course, I'm starting to freak out, you know, even though she's telling me not to. And she's not too concerned. So, with that all being said, I'm, like, searching the house for my anti-anxiety medication. Because I'm like, I need to take one or I'm going to have wicked ass anxiety which I'm gonna think it's something else and then like my brain's just gonna go to like this god awful place and it's just not gonna be fun so then what I did was you know obviously I left the back room to come sit on this couch I watched tv try to distract myself took my anti-anxiety medication and my mom said probably something on the floor you know you're sitting on the floor maybe something on that was down on the floor in the room in general, was giving you an allergic reaction, you know, maybe if you stay out of the room for a while, it'll, like, should clear up on its own, but I'm like, okay, so I'm just, like, trying to stay calm, and then I'm like, it's getting itchier, like, it was, I'm like, it's getting uncomfortable, I, I can't, I couldn't take it, so then my mom went, went out and got me Benadryl, now, I... We always have, like, Benadryl on hand, um, except for now. <laughs> I don't know, or else it expired, like, in 2009. So, I don't ever remember as a child really taking Benadryl. So, um, anyway, she went out, 
got ourselves a Chinese dinner, and uh, got me Benadryl. So I took the Benadryl, and then I ate my scrambled eggs, and then I was struggling to keep my eyes open. So I essentially fell asleep on the couch before 8 o'clock, because I started coming to a little bit around 8, and my mom's like, came in the room, she's like, oh good, you're awake. I'm like, not really, and then I went back to sleep. So then I sort of, but um, part of me was like, just sleep, just spend the night on the couch, but she's be told, I had, to, I had to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, my bladder, it's like, you know, it's full, and it's like pressure and uncomfortable. So I said to my mom, like, I gotta go to the bathroom, but I'm afraid I'm gonna fall over because I was still out of it. And I was just honestly, like, I was just feeling dizzy earlier, so she escorted me to the bathroom. <laughs> and I was, I'm like, walking and holding on to things. So then I do my business, and then my mom's like, well, why don't you just go to bed? It's like 8 o'clock, right? Like, when on earth have I ever gone to bed at 8 o'clock? Seriously, never in my life. So I was like, well, I'm kind of hungry. And I'm just like, I'd rather eat and then go to bed than just go to bed hungry. So um, I was sitting on the couch. I'm having a snack. We're watching TV. And then... We go upstairs and we watch some TV some more in my mom's bed. And we were watching The Voice, actually. And I was, like, falling asleep. I'm like, all right. So by midnight, I was like, F it. I'm just, I'm just passing out. <laughs> I cannot keep my eyes open. So I slept. And I didn't get up till like close to four o'clock this afternoon. Around like three thirty something, my mom came in and was like, "It's time to get up. You gotta get up." And I'm like, "Okay," but I fell back to sleep for a little while. Then I woke up. So now I'm awake. I'm downstairs, thirsty. I'm drinking cranberry juice. I'm gonna probably watch TV. Wait. Keep an eye out for the UPS in case they arrive before my mom does. Um, and then my dad, he's coming over for dinner. But seriously, now I know why people who can't sleep take Benadryl every night. I'm just like, give me some of that. And you know how NyQuil came out with a Z-Quil? It's like not a cold medicine, it's like a sleep medicine. Well, apparently the same type of ingredients that's in a Benadryl is in the z -Quil. I'm like, maybe I should take that every night. Because <laughs> this is like the only over-the-counter any sort of medication that literally put me to sleep. I don't even know what the heck's in this stuff. So, um, luckily nothing terrible happened to me. Because... <laughs> Because I was just like, I'm so tired of anything horrible is going to happen. It's going to happen to me in my sleep and my mother will have to deal with it. <laughs> so luckily, I'm doing better as far as this like, weird rashness is concerned. And I am still kind of like, feel groggy. So I don't know. If you take Benadryl and it makes you sleep a lot the next day, it's probably not a good idea to use as like a means to like go to sleep especially if you have to get up and go somewhere the next day but it was kind of nice to catch up on some sleep especially because the night before I didn't go to bed till like 4 30 and then I had to get up at like 8 and then I was like it wasn't happening but um I had to and I did what I had to do so anyway I just thought I'd share this story with you because it is extremely odd when I go to sleep at a reasonable hour especially even before you know, like, 10 or 11, so, um, because seriously, like, growing up, even as a baby and a young kid, like, I was a night owl my whole life, you know, my brother, he was too, it wasn't until he became an adult and a daddy that he can go to bed at, like, 10, <laughs> you know, and I could understand why, after babysitting for, like, two hours, I'm exhausted, you know, and they have those boys 24-7, so... Um, but anyway, thought I'd make this little vlog, this little story for you, and, um, I'm going to 
to definitely try to do more filming because a lot of funny stuff has been happening and I'm just like if only my camera going right now I find this funny hopefully other people would so gotta do more filming um for you guys and been helping my mom with her YouTube and teaching her how you post things from YouTube to Facebook and then she's Apparently she has like Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and I'm just like, wow, you have more stuff than me. <laughs> but it's all for her company, so it makes sense like business-wise. But personally, I don't know. Unless I think it's going to be helpful for me and my hobbies and my hobby jobs or whatever you want to call it, um, then maybe. But I don't know. But hopefully everyone is doing well and enjoying this lovely Friday. It's gross and rainy outside in other areas. They're getting wicked amounts of snow. And I'm jealous, but I'm sure we'll get snow one of these days. It's been the warm winter, actually. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Keep it quirky.